Hello, my name is Rachel Current, and I was a 2022 Borlaug Rerun intern this summer. I'm currently a student at Iowa State University, majoring in genetics with a minor in Spanish. And over the summer, I was interning with, with the International Potato Center, also known as SIP, which is late, based in Lima, Peru. Um, although I was under the mentorship of Dr. Jan Lau and Dr. Obed Muenye, and with that, I was a part of the Africa section of SIP. Um, so I was working centered around their partnership with the African Potatoes Association um, to help host a meeting called the 12th Triennial African Potato Association Conference. So this year that was held in Malawi and it was a hybrid meeting. So I, obvious, I was virtual for this internship and throughout the internship I had about four key roles. Um, first, for the first about three or four weeks of the internship, I was helping to create an abstract book. Um, so for that I compiled just under 300 abstracts um, that were on seven different themes. Some of them were for poster presentations and then some of them were for oral presentations and then the keynote speakers as well had abstracts that were included in the book. and. For that, I edited the abstracts if needed, and then I formatted them so that they were all uniform. Um, so that then that book, which was also indexed by a keyword and the last name of the first author of each abstract, um, the idea was for this book to then be able to be used by the conference participants to be able to find which abstract or what presentation they would like to go to for different sessions, as well as just learn about um, the variety of topics that there were at the conference. So the next section of my involvement with this internship was to actually attend the conference. So I attended virtually. So that included me getting up around midnight or 1 a.m. for about three days um, while the conference was taking place because I'm in a location that's about seven hours behind of Malawi where the, where the conference was. Um, so I'd wake up to be a part of the session, listen in, I learned so much new information throughout that week. I still am wrapping my head around some of the different topics that I got to learn about. Um, and so after the, after the conference, then my job was to conduct a mini study um, under Dr. Lau. Um, and for that mini study, I was focusing on the difference in the participation like experience for those who were virtual versus those who were in person. So what that looked like was I set up a questionnaire that was slightly different for the virtual versus in-person participants. And I got to, first I sent out an interview request um, to a section, a sample of the participants. And so I had interviews with some participants. And then we also sent out like a online survey that could be filled out of the same questionnaire. Um, so that was kind of a two different medias, mediums ways of doing that. So for that, that also helped me to really learn more about qualitative data analysis as I hadn't really done that formerly and a lot of the questions were open response. So I got to learn a lot about that style of analysis. Um, and then my last part of the internship was to help compile the final report. So that included um, different people who helped with the logistics of the meeting, sent or compiled their own section and then I helped to compile that into a large document that then has the reflection of the conference this year and also recommendations for next year based off of different people's aspects. So overall, my internship really made an impact on the African Potato Association Conference. Um, my role with the abstract book and then the final report was to help with, um, with the recording of it um, and the documentation of it as well as a lot of editing. Um, and then if I were to choose my favorite part of the internship, I would definitely say all of the different people that I got to interact with. Um, a highlight was interacting with my mentor, um, Dr. Lau, as every time I'd meet with her each week, she would help me understand a new concept about potatoes or sweet potatoes that maybe I read about or I was just wondering about. And with her knowledge, she could help support me to learn more. And it was just super interesting hearing about a completely different aspect of agriculture that I hadn't been exposed to before. Um, 
And then also just hearing from all of the in individuals who I got to interview and hear their perspective of the conference from their point of view. So overall, this internship really connected with my personal goals of um, learning more about genetics and how that's applied in the real, wo real world, along with um, just being exposed to such a new area of agriculture. I really love biology overall, and especially genetics, but this was a really great opportunity to help me learn and be exposed to a very wide range of topics and research projects within the scientific community. Um, and it was great that it was in Africa as I haven't had a lot of experience with their agricultural systems in the past. Um, to finish up, I'd really like to thank Dr. Jan Lau and Dr. Obed Mwenye for being my mentors over this summer. Um, and all of those at SIP, especially including Anna Gon Gonzalez and Dr. Hugo Campos, the, dr the Deputy Director General for Research and Development at SIP. Um, I really appreciate all their welcomingness and onboarding help um, as I got started. Um, and finally, I would like to thank those at the World Food Prize and especially, Rebe especially Rebecca Pickard um, for all of her help and support throughout the entire summer. I'm really thankful for this opportunity and where it's going to lead me in my future.